I want to welcome our president and CEO of Aslam Canada, Jeffrey Beach. Thank you so much. Dr. Kaplan just asked if I started working when I was 10. Thank you, Dr. Kaplan. We love you for many reasons. Uh, thanks very much, VBOS. Really appreciate this um, kind introduction and for kicking us off tonight. We're very fortunate to work with such a great, passionate board uh, led by yourself, so thank you for that. I want to welcome everyone here tonight. I could not be more excited than we are to host this wonderful reception honoring 50 years of Asthma Canada. And I want to start by expressing our heartfelt appreciation and thanks to everyone that's taken the time to join us. And some have traveled from distances. I know we have some people here from Montreal and uh, other parts of Ontario. So thank you so much for being with us tonight in person. It means a lot to have you with us. 50 years, that's, that's a long, long time. And it's five decades of working tirelessly to improve the lives of people living with asthma. The world was a different place 50 years ago. We had no internet, no cell phones, no home computers, social media and computers actually, the size of this room were about as powerful as this phone that I hold in my hand now. So think about how much things have changed over the last 50 years. In many ways they were simpler times, but they were also more difficult times for people living with chronic diseases like asthma. So when you stop and think about it, you realize how far we've come and just how much has changed, not just with Asthma Canada, as an organization, but with asthma care across the country. What we've achieved together is remarkable, and tonight is just as much about looking back as it is looking forward to the future and what is bright. I'm proud to say that we're surrounded tonight by some of the people who have been key players in Asthma Canada's success over the years. We're pleased to have current and former board members, staff, healthcare professionals, researchers, volunteers, partners, and of course, members of the asthma community. You've all contributed in one way or another to building the legacy that is Asthma Canada today. We've worked together to improve the lives of Canadians living with asthma, and we will continue to work towards our ultimate goal, a future without asthma. This evening, I want to express our gratitude to our sponsors whose support has made this event possible. We're very grateful to have many of the sponsors here tonight with us to celebrate. I'll start with our gold level sponsors, Bruce Power, Crow Soberman, Innovative Medicines Canada, and Pfizer. And our silver sponsors, AstraZeneca, GSK, Panasonic, Sanofi, TD Wealth Management, and Tinkum LLP. Thank you to all of our sponsors. But before we dive in a bit further with the program, just a few quick housekeeping notes. First of all, if you haven't noticed, we have a photographer, we have a camera operating uh, with recording video as well. Uh, feel free to approach our photographer. I know she's done a great job of uh, capturing shots throughout, but if you haven't had your picture taken, we'd love for you to be captured for, our, um, for the event. So please see her afterwards. And um, we'll be circulating recordings of some of the speakers from tonight's session as well afterwards through social media and our newsletter and so forth. So really glad to be able to offer that. Speaking of social media, if you use it, please use the hashtag AsthmaCanada5050. It's right there. I ask that we have that up there because when I'm at events, I always forget what the hashtag is. So uh, please... Make note of it and uh, please use it. Help us spread the word and, and help us expand our network and the people that we touch. So as we gather to celebrate the 50th anniversary of Asthma Canada, it's only fitting to reflect on where we began. And our story really begins with Judy Godfrey, a remarkable woman who was the driving force behind the founding of what was then known as the Asthma Society of Canada. Judy was fiercely passionate about ensuring that funds raised for asthma research in Canada stay in Canada. And that was not always the case beforehand. Alongside with her friend and fellow passionate volunteer, Joanne Posen, Judy founded this organization in the 1970s, overcoming challenges in a time when women's leadership was often overlooked. Judy and Joanne were not alone in their efforts. Judy's husband, Sheldon Godfrey, was also a key figure in the early days of the organization, and for decades after, by the way. 
as were numerous healthcare professionals, researchers, and parents of children living with asthma. Together, they built a community of like-minded individuals that were dedicated to improving asthma care and helping people live better lives. So as we gather tonight, we honor the legacies of Judy, Joanne, Sheldon, and countless others who helped to build this organization. Without their vision and their determination, none of this would be possible and we would not be here this evening. Sadly, Joanne Posen passed away a few years ago, but we want to take this time to remember her and thank her for her visionary leadership and for working alongside Judy to found the organization that was incorporated as the Asthma Society of Canada in 1974. This evening, we are especially proud to have Judy and Sheldon Godfrey and several members of their family here tonight for this momentous occasion. We are pleased to recognize Judy Godfrey for her extraordinary contributions, along with Sheldon, for lifetime achievements over the last 50 years and the legacy they created. This honor is a testament to their unwavering commitment and tireless efforts that have had a lasting impact on asthma care in Canada. So at this point, I'd like to invite Judy and Sheldon to come up and we have a, an award to, to provide to you and Sheldon's gonna say a few words as well.